Hello everyone, and welcome back to Guild Wars 2. Cuz, Halloween. I was, I'm going to wait until probably after Halloween before we start on Season 1, because the last episodes of, of Season 1 comes out uh, November something. I forget when. But yeah. Since, since we already recorded the Guild Wars 1 Halloween, though I didn't do the Nightfall side, did I? Huh. But I ain't gonna go back and do that. But, yeah. Guild Wars 2 Halloween. There aren't really quests for such. It's sort of just, it exists. Oh, traveler. Oh, so outfits. Because there's new outfits now. We could be a maid. I almost sort of like that look. Almost sort of like that. Maybe we play some some of the black look, like you know, uh, some. Which which like white color? But yeah, place that, and I almost sort of like. But no. <laughs> I mean, it's a fun outfit, but... We can totally go Mad King right now. It really looks silly on Char, though. Butler outfit? Not terrible. Not terrible. I do like the... I do like the look of it. Maybe change that greens for more... More of a different color, though, for that. But anyway, back to our dervish look. Okay, so. The Mad King stuff. Mostly well, comes down to. The Labyrinth. And other stuff around. Them. Like the Clock Tower. For kind. Drubert, Drubert Get your ear. The Mad King is challenging adventurers to a fight. I've heard best that one. all over town. So I wonder if Terry's best could take him in a fair fight. He's here. Oh, well, that's a bad one to see. We spent all week Wouldn't expect the Mad King to fight fair, though. By my calculations, I can expect a 13% increase in goodie acquirements this year. Come yeah, that's so bad. So the labyrinth is, is the primary method of making profit during the festival. Because basically you go in circles around the labyrinth. You go in circles. You go in circles. You go in circles. Did I mention circles? Because you go in circles. I was going to say, yeah, I don't have that waypoint over there. How shall I get that one? By manipulating chaos. That's it. Bans, welcome to the lab. There's carving pumpkins. Treat the car. Make it to jack o' lanterns. That was a very fun guy who loves carving pumpkins. Back in line, Sarge. Oh, yeah, you mostly just run around here tagging things with the group. Probably well, if there's no group, yeah. It's a bit slower without a group. Tag. Tag. 
And the fun part comes from opening these doors, which are usually behind the those ones. There's also green doors that are just events. But now they're apparently up. Center we have a bunch of candy corn a bunch of coffee pumpkins and the race. Which uh, you know we're here with the game and do. Cause we're Drew Bert. A lunatic racer. Bruce Jr. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he's the junior of Bruce, the Herald, I, I guess. So there's more like an Azura to me. Oh well. Now we have Gordon, the racing Troya. I figure we could do this. Easy enough. As we wait for the time. But yeah, I can't really think of what else to do for Halloween. I knew I was going to do this. I can't really think what else to do. Like, I mean, we have Dead Island uploading. Oh, no, it's not at the moment. Dead Island should be up all play for Halloween. I suppose you were killed for real this time. My, my, Oswald, are you that? beginning to oh, wilt? A few centuries in this void of misery has done very little for your complexion. And you look a bit pale, dear Palawa. You could use a tan or some flesh. And Palawa Joko. A Mad King Thorn. They have their little bickering jokes and stuff. But there we go. Oh god, we're going right into Steve. Not Steve. Uh, I should show off Steve, but I have the race to win first. But Steve might be dead by the time we get back. Steve's a skeleton with a chainsaw. Probably the most threatening thing in this instance. But hey, we won. Okay, so now we'll go show off Steve. Because Dave. 
Death stalks me. So, you see, now I get stuck in this. Armored up! Poor thing. Of that. Oh, no. Eat that! But that really hurts. Faster! Check out Steve. That yeah. looks valuable. Now we can defeat the strange foes coming through the door. That feels good. Nice and leap by my will. That's a Fighting condition. Refreshing. So yeah, there's also those doors popping out outside of Hill in numerous locations. Most Triton. That you can go to and do well, basically what we just did here. you people over here following me? Jesus. Not doing anything. <laughs> okay, then. Yeah, anyway. So that's... The Magic Labyrinth. One part by one shell. Now we'll do the or solo bowl dungeon strike mission sort of thing that existed before strike missions were a thing. Here's a little something for all my loyal that's the most hideous green mask I've ever seen. What mask? That move. First of Mad King says is in um Try minutes. I'm not sure if we'll get to Mad King says or not. By the way, let's go to Ascent to Madness. Ascent to Madness is Fun, solo bull fun. We should be fine. We should be fine, he says. Also, I have another series plan that I'm not sure if I'll get to uploading in November or not. Was going to do Dying Light after Dead Island, but I don't know. I sort of burnt myself out on that. So I decided to go do something else. Entirely something I did before and never finished. Greetings, Morton. It'll be interesting. Good to have you see me again. You may adore me. Gather round, my subjects. Hi. Agging. Now, we shall play a game a of one one hand. feared by all of Is Tyrion. Is play considered a in this, century. though? Surely you heard of it. Prepare yourself. Mad King says! For all of you sad sops who don't know the rules, hear me now! You must do only what your Mad King says, and nothing else! Consider it a lesson in obedience. Yeah, let's go to Flashy up. Let's flash your help. Ready? If not, that's unfortunate for you. Certain lines are, you have to actually use the hands in this. Your mad king says. Power! 
You have to figure out which one's cow. And use it before the men start attacking you. Oh, so that could fight. Yeah, and I replaced my ability, so he went down. No, so he's still on that far. Display a little respect before you do Your mad king says. Salute! Figure out where it is, everyone. Figure out where it is. And hopefully, use that before you get knocked down. Okay. I feel it. Strong! Smirk off your face, soldier! Salute! That's one of those things where it's like you're supposed to use his abilities while also fighting. So you're fighting. You Pay attention. My leg! Dance! Dance for me! Yeah, it's not like I'm being attacked by everything right now, but sure. We should dance. Listen and almost to the dance. music in your head. Dance! I think he only does it three times. So let's come back. Come on, you Good old life. That was interesting. For a time, you did as well as to be expected, but I tire of this. The high Mad King Thorn. Thing is, we don't have any real, you know, defiance threat on this character. So this should be interesting. I mean, that works though. I was like, did you already get through him? No, I can't. Of course I can't. I would see if I can just get through him. Oops. There goes another one. Just don't get hit by the pumpkin bombs. Or stand still and go still. You should be fine. Relatively. Did he take out Flash? That's unfortunate. To be honest, my warrior actually has a better time because my warrior can break through his spine. Better than, well, we can. Yeah, I think my warrior actually does a lot better because of that whole defiance break. That's, a, that's the one problem I really have with my Necromancer, is he doesn't have enough defiance breaks. <laughs> like, he's good against pretty much everything else, it's just some bosses require defiance breaks to be effective. Since this is a solo whole thing, well, I could have brought people there. Up to five. It's suggested five, too. <laughs> but yeah, since that, since we're alone and without a fire break, it makes this a bit harder. Oh, it's a flash of fires. Horrific, I know. By the way, Mag Hagel. Silk Eye of Death this. Incarnate! That's right, it's the parody.
Can't go play for you now. Damn it. Going down even lower. But you have to be careful about it because there's no there's no gliding. Between the Mad King and Mad King's Ascent. Huzzah! Oh, so by the way, if you look. Where is it? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. There's the clock tower going around. You can see it in the distance. Or are we rotating around the clock? Huh. It might be rotating around the clock tower. Or it might be rotating and this might be rotating too. But yeah. Oh, I don't want to do this. I don't look forward to this at all. So. We've shown off the labyrinth. We've shown off the ascent to madness. I guess we should show off the clock tower. I don't like the clock tower. Like, I li prefer the winter stay jumping pod so more than the clock tower. Just cause the clock tower is bullshit. Boom! Ha <laughs> ha! On its timing and everything. Do it again! This is really bullshit on its timing. Cause basically, you're tossed in here. Like no skills and just told you to rely on your skill of jumping basically. Can't activate speed boost, can't do any of that. Because technically that would potentially be. Three of the Mad King. All who approach Yon Tower do so at their own risk. You have been warned. Hi, Angry Chest. So, welcome to the Clock Tower. Oh, it sucks. Because, yeah, we gotta go. No time to focus. Just gotta go. Okay, we wait here for a couple of seconds. Couple of seconds. One, two. There we go. Was it even fully rendered in? Doesn't matter. Oh shit. And we fucked up. Because I didn't estimate if I could make that long of a jump. So I wanted to land on the gale, but I went over the gale. 
Now then the problem though is a way to try for the Mad King's treasure. You'll be dead long before you're rich. Yeah, a way to tell basically everyone else plays. Then it goes faster. <sighs> yeah. Did I mention I hate this? Then it counts as a PvP thing, I think, too. Somehow. Well, I guess it is a competition. Everyone else is 200 spirits, so they don't take up your bill. Because that's the problem with like big characters like Norn and Char. They take up your bill, they can screw you up. Shit. Almost fucked that up. Rotating the fucking yeah. pain in the ass, Jesus. Don't worry about that treasure chest, just keep going. Oh, fuck that. Oh, that screwed me. Oh, shit, I can't remember what to do here. Oh wait, we're moving. We're moving. Who am I moving to? I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> um, I'm confused. Very confused. Running out of space. Don't know where to go. Uh, yeah, well, I think it's this for me. I uh, got confused there because it's like, wait a second. There's no way up for me. <laughs> That's still better than I usually do. I mean, that's better than I usually do. So, okay, so there's nowhere to go. Um, <laughs> so I panicked a little bit. Which is a problem, you're not supposed to panic. So you need to instinctively jump. Otherwise, you're gonna fail. There's where we screwed up before. Power's not supposed to go up high, right? Where am I? Like, I get stuck here, and it's like, okay, how do I get up to that? And I second guess myself. I don't see a way up. I think I have to jump down and go back up around at that point, which is stupid. I think that's what I have to do. Ah, well, let's try it again. At least it doesn't take long. <laughs> Those chests, fuck those chests. Chests are not worth your time. Chests are just there to distract you. Just keep going. Like that, we slow it down, we almost. You don't want to slow it down. Keep going, keep going, constantly keep going. No stopping for. Fuck! I went off the edge. Ugh. Yeah, fun times, everyone. Fun times. That one has a nice. That one has a nice. Motioning up the clock. 
time swallowed it whole. Day and all. <sighs> Whoosh. Papyrus is already hit three times. Ugh. I've done none. Gather round, my subjects! But. What am I gathering around for? Why aren't we going? Oh, right, because personal scores. That person made it up there three times. We made it up there. Yay. After I've heard to reload the instance now. Look at so the Mad King. All who approach the tower do so at their own risk. Oh, 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 okay, let's do this again, everyone. We didn't almost make it. I just got stuck towards the end there. It was like, okay. I wasn't sure where to proceed. So the first time though it does this stupid cinematic. So hey, you know, you have to go up there. I think I have to jump down and go back up. Then. Oh, my camera's not even fully zoomed up this time. That's stupid. Okay, so we hop in and we wait. One, two, three. We jump, we jump. We get stuck on things, trying to jump over other things. Hop, hop, hop. Jump, 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 turn, and jump. The a lot of rotating the camera, more so than jump. That right there almost screwed me. That was really lagging. This now is not the frickin' time for that. Remember, jump on the gill. Shit! I slid off the gill. I was trying going up, but nope, slid right off it. Should have jumped again. Tick tock. The mouse ran up the clock. And time swallowed it whole. Day of all. But yeah, I really hate this jumping puppet so. It's just pain. And suffering. Ugh, it's, it's just yeah. There we go, someone made it. Of course they did. Okay, okay, it's one in the back, it's so one behind. That's just why I need to go slow. Well, technically you get a point to catch up right here. Um, I'm sorry, I went right through it. <laughs> okay. I went right through it. Stupid. You know, let's go right through it. Don't try for the Mad King's treasure. You'll be dead long before you're rich. I don't like this fighter's that look, too. I mean, look at that. But yeah, that was stupid. Went right through the frickin' object. Take talk. The mouse ran up the That's clock. a decent look. And time swallowed it all. Day of all. I mean, the gloves on fire don't exactly go that way with the look, but, you know. Truck. <sighs> I think I'll do this maybe two more times, then I'm calling it bell. Just for my own sanity's sake. Because it's very stupid. Do, do we have to do the full scene this time? 
Tell me what I should do the forward scene this time. Oh. Stop a pill. Turn camera. Okay. Don't get stuck. Jump over that. Hop up these two. Hop over to this one. Hop hill. Hop kill. Hop this. Shit. I slid right off it. Fuck you too, game. Don't try for the Mad King's treasure. You'll be dead long before you're rich. And they would give them actual decent outfits for being the lunatic court. But most of them just look like, you know, we just toss some outfits, to, toss some armors to get from called good. So we give them lunatic court stuff. I don't know where to go from there, Jesus. And fuck it, I don't know where to go from now. Anyway, yeah. Problems were missing, Mad King says, because we took too long. Oh, I went in the labyrinth, but not in the Fine's Arch anyway. Oh well, get me out. Yeah, so that's that's basically stuff that's going. We could go to Mad King's house. But meh. Did you know the gateway to the Mad Realm goes oh, both I took, ways? I don't even know him. Yeah, I'm sure it's like I'm not even participating. <sighs> but anyway, so that's well, Mad King. I, I mean, wouldn't want to get stuck in there with the Mad King for an entire year. There were sort of event things, which is basically let's go. So basically, uh, what was it? No. I think Sobari should get goodies too, since they don't get to be kids. I need more goodies. <laughs> Yeah, 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 complete that, let's get a little shift boat. Yeah, as you can see, haven't really completed that in a while. The freaking clock tower. Yeah, I keep completing that for that. Well, I always have to try one. I already completed the wardrobe, though. Well, no, I've already completed the I've already completed the wardrobe, got that. But yeah, I was like, where's the thing? It doesn't really show the whole event style quest thing. But basically, you had to go 
Oh, let's see what to do. I had to go talk to her. Get a thing. Loves Halloween. Uh, go talk to other NPCs around the place. Uh, there was stuff that involved going to Trick or treat. the Nolandi Academy ruins, going to the Ascalon settlement. Uh, forget where out. Probably over here. Other places. I want to make the. Where was it? Uh, to make the book thing. Okay. Link the book thing, but yeah. Then there was another one to make a better version of it by doing more stuff. Then another one to make an even better version of that. I know your face from my dream. Ultimately, yeah, let's show off then. Because basically we ended up getting. Starting with like. My word! This one, I believe. Come on, game. Load faster. The problem though is too many players, too much loading. The game sometimes just does not like loading previews. But yeah. So we got that book. The next year we got that book. Then I think I skipped a few years, but eventually ended up with that book. Which, you know. It's nice. But then there's also this one, which is spectral. Woo. But I still prefer my wings over those. Oh, so I could be wearing horns now. Excelsior. Which I mean More violence, I say. Less violence. Could be wearing bat ears to go with my bats. Cat ears to go with my char. <laughs> I know your face from my dream. But yeah. Excelsior. So anyway, that it was it for I basically so the Halloween goodies too, since they don't get to be kids. He's here. The Mad King is here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I love how the children are also excited about someone who could just snap his fingers and you end up dead, then brought back to life, then dead, then brought back to life. <laughs> but yeah. So, hope you all enjoyed. Happy Halloween. And next time, more, probably Guild Wars 1, I mean Guild Wars 2, probably Living World Season 1 will start. Eventually. But yeah. Till next time. Mm-hmm. <laughs>